Greetings hobbies, this is Arsan Zavall, and I thought it was time for another Blender challenge. The last one was really well received and people seemed to enjoy the format, so I thought I'd try one a little bit different this time, but with the same idea of you've got a few days, well until Friday, to get your answers put together, and then I will show you what I did or how I made this object on Friday. The last time we did this was with a sword, and if you want to have a look at that or have a go, the links to the challenge and then the answer are in the description of this video, and they've been coming up in the top right hand corner. And here is the challenge this time, it is to make a sci-fi armoured shoulder pad, like the one that you can see on the screen, with an arrow that has been put onto it, so this is one solid object. Now this is going to be a bit different to last time where I said there were some constraints to this. In this one you are very welcome to use all the add-ons you would like and when I go through this I will have a look at how to do this both with the add-ons that you might want to use. For example I used hard ops for a part of this or you could do it without any add-ons at all and I'll also show you how to do that in the answers on Friday. So the specifics to go through for this. So the challenge of this is to get this to various different sizes and to be accurate with that sizing. Something that a lot of people feel challenged with in Blender. So these are the dimensions you need. You need to have the overall width as 10 blender units. Mine will come up as meters, for example, but whatever your units are, that is going to be 10. The height needs to be 8.5 blender units, and the width on the other direction is going to be 5.5 blender units. And then this armor shoulder pad needs to be 1.6 blender units in thickness. That is from the inside to the outer edge. Finally, the trim needs to be one blender unit in width and then 0.5 blender units in depth. And as if that wasn't challenging enough, the last thing is this arrow symbol that is going to be on it needs to be straight. One of the biggest problems I see with people doing this is that they end up with a shape where the arrow is clearly not an arrow. It's got a lot of arcs to it on the different faces or the different edges and your challenge is to make this straight so it doesn't have that problem. To be clear, all of this can be done without any add-ons that are not native to Blender. So you do not need anything that you have to download or pay for to produce this. So there we have it. That is the Blender challenge for this week, and I'll be going through the answer to this on Friday.